Everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, yet again, I'm gonna give you another free plugin, and this time it's to create those comparison sliders on your Final Cut Pro 10. But before the start of today's video, please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Drop a comment if you have any questions, I will really love reading all your comments. Thank you very much and let's get started. First of all, you have to download this plugin from the Google Drive and the link will be in the description box. After that, you can find this folder, LC Comparison Slider. Copy this folder, go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Templates and just paste it under the Titles folder and restart the Final Cut Pro. Go to the Titles and Generators sidebar and find LC comparison slider and you can find the slider over here and let's quickly move on to how can you apply this plugin on your video so for simplicity I'm just gonna show you how to apply with only one video clip so this is a lock video clip without color grading without any LUTs applied and I'm gonna show you how to create a very simple LUT comparison so first of all I'm gonna create the first layer of comparison so I'm just gonna drag a custom LUT over the video and just select a random LUT I might just add in another LUT if I want to like this and choose another LUT for example bright and sunny I'm not gonna show you all the details but after everything is added, I'm just gonna go to this clip over here on timeline without any editing. I'm just gonna press option plus G to create a compound clip and just rename it if you want to as one. And on the other hand, if you want to create another LUT look, you can always drag a custom LUT on the already created, you know, video compound clip and select a new LUT for example I'm just gonna choose say matte and if you want to you can add another layer of LUT or just to do a simple color correcting and again press option NG to create a second compound clip after everything is done delete the clip on your timeline and drag the slider plugin onto your timeline extend it outwards drag it you know for the duration to be longer after that go to the titles inspector this first drop zone is obviously the original clip it's the first layer second layer and where can you apply it it's on your media pool so first of all the original clip is this one and I'm just gonna for simplicity go to the very first frame of this video like this hit apply clip and you know this is the original layer and the first layer so just now I've created two compound clips and I'm just gonna choose the first one the one and I'm just gonna go all the way to the front the first frame and hit apply clip and as you can tell that this is a box you can always change the uh, the the options over here at the titles inspector you can always for example drag the left all the way to the you know to the left or all the way to the right and obviously you can drag the bottom all the way up or all the way down so firstly I'm gonna show you how to create a left to right kind of a slider so I'm gonna max out left first create a keyframe and a few seconds later create 
a keyframe at 50 and a few frames later create a keyframe at 0 after that once you hit play it's going to be a slider from you know left to right if you want to make the 50% a little bit longer you can go to the keyframe at 50% and a few frames later create yet another keyframe and put 50% again and once you hit play you realize that this comparison slider stays in the middle for a while sorry for the laggy video because this you know requires time to render it out on the other hand if you want to you know have the slider comparison without this you know white line in the middle or if you want to change the color you can always go to here distinction color you can change the color say to red or black if you want it to be on the other hand you can always change the angle like this so it disappears without a trace and on the other hand if you want to create those you know uh, sliders with you know bottom to up or up to bottom is you know just meddling with the keyframes like just now and as well as the distinction line so if you want to make it more obvious you can change the angle like this if not you can make it disappear by changing the angle upwards but if you want to have the comparison similar to the introduction video please bear in mind that the angle you have to find it with a good angle so it does have two distinct lines and it's going to have a perfect comparison with keyframes built on this slider obviously there's going to be a second layer and you can always layer it over or you can layer it again afterwards so the default setting is without anything and you have to change the uh, second layer you have to change the right second layer first and if you want to you can change the bottom or change the top like this and be aware that the angle is slightly different from the first one so you have to find the correct angle and you can create this very cool looking layering effect with this sort of like a, a second layer of comparison on the other hand as you realize that if you don't want the front part you know of this clip to be showing you can't simply just drag this over like this because this just automatically shortens the entire time of this titles but the, it doesn't change anything on the actual frames so what you're gonna do is click on this titles press option and G to create yet another compound clip please rename it so I've renamed to main and if you want to change where it starts you can just simply drag it over like this and this is the you know, different starting points instead of just shortening the entire duration of the title and lastly obviously if you want to change the comparison for example if you're unsatisfied with the LUT applied for example the first one so if you want to change the LUT or you know add in effect for example I can always add in a cinematic shake effect that I've previously created for you guys for example heartbeat shot I can just double click on this clip without anything I just go back to the slider and voila it's already applied on the actual video so you don't have to you know deselect this drop zone and reselecting it is very troublesome I know so what you need to do is just go to the actual compound clip so make sure you rename them very very nicely and they are very easy to find and you can always change in the actual compound clip that's almost all I wanted to show you today if you have any burning questions just drop a comment if not have fun you know changing all the settings all the stats and create those sliding uh, comparison effect of your own video styles and again please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video thank you very much and bye bye